Buenos días, damas y caballeros. Bienvenida a la ciudad de Buenos Aires, la capital de República Argentina. Y hoy yo quiero mostrar esta ciudad. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Buenos Aires. Let's check it out. Argentina is the second largest country in South America and eighth largest country in the world. You probably heard about Argentinian steak, Argentinian Malbec wines, Falkland War, uh, Diego Maradona and Ernesto Che Guevara. All these names and all these things connected to this beautiful country. The capital of this country is the city of Buenos Aires and today I would like to show you this wonderful city. Buenos Aires, or officially the autonomous city of Buenos Aires, is the capital and the largest city of Argentina. The city is located on the western shore of the Rio de Plata, on South America's southeastern coast. Buenos Aires can be translated as fair winds or good airs. But to be honest, their original name back in 16th century was a little bit more complicated. It used to be Real de Nuestra Señora Santa Maria del Buen Aires, named after the Madonna of Bonaria in Sardinia, Italy. This city is known for its preserved eclectic European architecture and rich cultural life. It is a multicultural city that is a home to multiple ethnic and religious groups, contributing to its culture as well to the dialect spoken in the city and in some other parts of the country. This is because since the 19th century the city and the country in general has been a major recipient of millions of immigrants from all over the world, making it a melting pot where several ethnic groups live together. That's why Buenos Aires is considered one of the most diverse cities in South America. Also Buenos Aires is very much famous for its political life. It's a lot of different unions and political organizations uh, in Argentina. And usually Buenos Aires is the place where you can see a lot of different protests and a lot of different meetings happening on a daily basis. Uh, while I was visiting Buenos Aires, uh, I saw at least three or four different political meetings or protests, um, I wasn't sure, but yeah, it's a lot of things happening in this melting pot. Another thing about Buenos Aires is that they got a lot of beautiful monuments and um, fountains, like let's say right behind me, it's a pretty cool monument, but I've noticed that they usually put a huge fences around all these monuments so I asked a couple people like what's going on why did they put all these fences around here and the simple explanation were well first because they want to preserve all these monuments from all these protesters because sometimes protesters want to take down the monuments and second they want to preserve all these monuments from uh, garbage yep it's actually uh, I mean listen I live in New York City and we, we, we know that sometimes it's getting, you know, dirty, trashy, especially, you know, in Manhattan there are some areas where it's a lot of, you know, trash and sometimes it needs to be cleaned up and stuff like that, but here, oh, here a lot of garbage, not for nothing, and people, they simply don't give a damn, yeah. And another thing about Buenos Aires, it's a lot of people who got dogs. And I mean, I love dogs, I have a dog myself, but they don't clean after them, you know? So, yeah. Like, you you literally can walk in, like, in central area and, you know, you see some, how to say it properly, a dog poop, like, in, like, very, very public places. Imagine you go to Times Square and there is a dog poop in the middle of it. Yeah, so something like that. But yeah, 
nice city. building Museo del Agua which is sadly closed today and it's closed even tomorrow <laughs> it's incredible I don't understand why but well at least I saw it from outside and uh, I got a chance to show it to you but the building is really pretty good not for nothing but another thing which I would like to mention is that uh, the whole entire city of Buenos Aires is uh, is like a city of contrasts because you see people driving expensive cars and you see poor people sleeping on the streets. You see uh, people who's like you know wearing really expensive clothes and you see protesters who's like literally sleeping on uh, public squares here. I mean, they're creating those like political camps and sleeping there. Uh, so yeah, it's a lot of things going on, but definitely it's a very, very, very vibrant city. Lots to see, lots to visit, but you know, sometimes it could be closed for whatever reason. But yeah, Buenos Aires is a really cool destination. Considering the fact that it is winter right now here, it's a lot of greenery, which is great. And a lot of green spaces in the city in general. Lots of different parks, which is really awesome. One thing which, which I already mentioned, which in my opinion kind of quite weird, is that, well, major monuments surrounded by fences i mean it just looks odd but it is what it is they're trying to preserve those monuments from uh, protesters and from garbage and another thing is that i still see a lot of dog poop in the parks just you know you walk in here it is <sighs> yeah Oh wow. Another spot which I want to actually show you today guys is uh, Catedral Metropolitania and as I believe this is the biggest cathedral Catholic cathedral in Buenos Aires so let's go check it out Buenos Aires Metropolitan Cathedral or Catedral Metropolitania de Buenos Aires is the main Catholic church in Buenos Aires it is located in the city center overlooking Plaza de Mayo on the corner of San Martin and Rivadavia streets in San Nicolas neighborhood
It is the mother church of Argentina. The Cathedral of Buenos Aires was built several times since its humble origins back in the 16th century. The present building is a mix of architectural styles with an 18th century nave and dome and a severe 19th century neoclassical facade without towers. The interior keeps precious 18th century statues and altar pieces as well as uh, some neo-renaissance and neo-baroque decorations. This cathedral also has a pretty interesting part in it. It has the mausoleum of General San Martin. In 1880, the remains of General José de San Martin were brought from France and placed on a mausoleum here. And uh, this mausoleum is very much reachable from the right aisle of the church. And the mausoleum itself actually was specially designed by some French sculptor. They used uh, marble of different colors, so the place is truly amazing. And the black sarcophagus is guarded by three life-size female figures that represent Argentina, Chile, and Peru. Three of the regions freed by the general, actually. So the cathedral actually is not only important place for the Catholic Church, it's also a very much important historic location because um, it has the mausoleum of this general who freed three different countries which is awesome. So if you guys are going to be in Buenos Aires, I highly recommend you to stop by and check it out. Another interesting spot in Buenos Aires is um, La Cementaria de la Ricoleta. Uh, it's a cemetery, actually. Yeah, uh, I believe it's one of the most historic cemeteries, cemeteries in this uh, in the city. That's why it's like a it's a museum, partially I would say, but it's a cemetery. It's very interesting, weird and interesting, but. Uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna show it to you as well, guys, because uh, it this particular spot is on every tourist map of Buenos Aires. So everybody is recommending to come here and check it out. Uh, that's why I came here to see it myself and to show it to you. Let's check it out. Well, I guess the main thing about this place is that um, it's all mausoleums in here. So that's why I guess this place became so popular because it's all mausoleums. It's not like, you know, in America you have like just simple graves. Here you can tell that people spend a lot of money to build all these mausoleums. And, uh, and they're pretty old as well. So yeah, it's a piece of history as well. It's a resting spot for many many people here interesting you know very interesting
right now I'm standing in the middle of this uh, cemetery filled with all these mausoleums and well around me all uh, dead people well yeah I mean obviously hello but uh, listen it's interesting it's really interesting it's all mausoleums here and the architecture of these mausoleums is impressive truly impressive that's why I think this particular spot became like a well-known tourist attraction because first I was thinking should I go here should I check it out because cemetery sounds weird but not for nothing it's worth of visiting interesting interesting place guys I also would like to mention one important thing. If you guys are going to be visiting Buenos Aires, you're probably going to need some sort of transportation. Buenos Aires do have a subway system and well, if you're lucky, you can even get in there because it's a, actually a hard mission to find a place where they sell La Tarjeta del Subte. It's like a metro card in New York City. It is a mission, honestly. I visited uh, several subway stations there and uh, nobody was able to sell me that card. So instead of using subway service, I decided to use taxis everywhere. And you know what? Taxis available uh, everywhere in Buenos Aires and taxis are very cheap. So my Highly recommendation actually go for a taxi service uh, because it's gonna bring you where you need to be and uh, well it's way faster than waiting for a train and dealing with all those metro carts and etc so I would go for taxi service another thing which I have to mention tango tango is a national dance of Argentina and of course uh, you're gonna see a lot of people dancing tango on the streets of Buenos Aires um, what, can I, what can I tell you uh, you can go for a night show which is very unique and very awesome or you can see some people dancing simply on the streets uh, well it's up to you but I gotta tell you if you're gonna be visiting Buenos Aires tango is a must Speaking of the vibrations of Buenos Aires, uh, about three blocks away from this spot where they were dancing tango, uh, there were protests going on. Uh, and then later on, I went uh, to the president's palace and I saw a few people building up a camp right next to the president's palace. Um, not so sure what's going on there. Um, 
I can't really tell you what those protests about, but yeah, uh, that's what's going on in Buenos Aires. Um, my amigos, yo tengo una pregunta. Por qué en Argentina uh, tú tengas muchos protestos y muchos grupos políticos uh, diferenciales? Uh, ¿Qué pasa con tu país? Dímelo, amén. Dímelo, amén, por favor. ¿Está bien? Y excusa para mi español. Mi español no es muy bonito. Uh, yo sé. Porque yo nunca estudié español en la escuela. Yo estudié español con ayuda de mi amigo de República Dominicana. Tú sabes. Anyways, guys, if you, if you know the answer to that question, please leave a comment below because it's pretty interesting you know a lot of things happening here and uh, yeah yesterday yesterday right next to the president's palace uh, was a pretty huge uh, protest going on as well at least a few thousand people been there they had to shut down a few streets here it was like Policía de la Ciudad y Policía Federal. So I guess there are two different police forces in here. But yeah. And they've been well equipped and etc. etc. So yeah, lots of things happening in Buenos Aires. But uh, I gotta tell you one thing. Very vibrant city. Pretty cool. I like it. Another tourist attraction which I would like to show you guys is um, actually historic ship. The Corbeta or Corvette uh, Uruguay, which were actually built in England, and it is the largest ship afloat of its age in uh, the Armada de la Republica Argentina, uh, with the more than 140 years um, basically passed since the commissioning in September 1874. Uh, I believe this is the last of the legendary squadron of President Sarmiento, the Uruguay took part of different revolutions, ransoms, expeditions, rescues and it was even uh, like a floating headquarters of the Navy school back in the days. Uh, during its operational history uh, from 1874 until 1926 the Uruguay has served as a gunboat, uh, as a school ship, expedition support ship, uh, Antarctic rescue ship and also as a hydrographic survey vessel. Uh, and now it's a museum ship uh, in uh, Buenos Aires in the area which called Puerto Madero. And Puerto Madero is another beautiful part of the city which I highly recommend you to visit. It has a lot of different restaurants. Mostly it's a very modern part of the city actually. A lot of different restaurants, uh, a lot of uh, different bars. So if you're looking for, for a place where they have pretty good food and a lot of different drinks you can come to Puerto Madero but I gotta tell you that this is a pretty modern part of the city so unless you want to see something more historic then you better stay in El Centro but um, if you want to see some modern part of Buenos Aires well Puerto Madero is your choice Not for nothing guys, this ship does feel old, like old as hell, but it's pretty cool that you can actually visit it, really nice, I like it.
I also would like to mention two things about Buenos Aires. First of all, people. People are truly kind and really great, honestly. Everybody was trying to help me to get around the city and um, whatever I needed some uh, directions, I would go to people and simply ask them and they would be so, so helpful, it's incredible. Um, even if you don't speak Spanish, uh, well, it's not a problem, I mean, yeah, not that many people actually speak good English, but trust me, you will understand each other, that's just how it works, you know? But my recommendation, uh, hey, try to learn Spanish, um, at least that's what I'm trying to do these days. Um, my Spanish is not that good, and uh, listen, uh, I never even went to school for that, but, um, you know, it, it becomes very useful when I go to Spanish-speaking countries and people do understand me, which is great. Um, another thing about Buenos Aires are prices. Prices are pretty cheap, so anywhere you go, it's very much affordable. So yeah, Buenos Aires is pretty interesting and very welcoming destination. Well, ladies and gentlemen, another thing which I want to say that comparing New York to Buenos Aires it's com completely two different worlds because this city is so relaxed and nobody's rushing here anywhere so it's like imagine right now it's 9 a.m the street is completely empty i'm like where's where's the people and there is no people and i'm like walking several blocks and no people isn't it incredible I think it isn't quite credible because well nine o'clock a.m. in New York City would be busy not here for some reason I don't know why I mean I see only a few people here honestly and some local uh, policia de la ciudad and that's it oh yeah another thing which I gotta mention to you a size of a coffee a morning coffee in here is about like this very small small cute cup of coffee and no 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 they add milk to it they add sugar everything they do they do the whole thing but I'm just like this is it that's all you need you know how in New York like we, we go to Starbucks you order like large extra large triple large so hell just give me the whole kettle coffee and that's it and then you walk to office you actually rush into office because let's say i don't know 8 30 you got zoom call 9 a.m you got another meeting and by 10 o'clock you gotta prepare some report while you have all that you gotta answer 25 different emails at the same moment and stuff like that you know not here here um i don't know I guess they just get him prepared to work by 11 a.m. which is cool which is cool but yeah totally different rhythm of life you know it's interesting it's interesting but it's it's different it's totally different yes. Another place which I actually want to check it out, uh, Museo de Bellas Artes. I heard it's free on the weekends, so I hope it's free. Even if it's not free, I'm going to check it out. But I just want to confirm that it's free. Uh, so yeah, let's go check it out. Some art. Museo de Bellas Artes, guys, is another beautiful place in Buenos Aires, which I highly recommend you to visit. Their collection is pretty interesting they got a lot of beautiful paintings and uh, whatever I filmed in there well it's just a small part of this museum so you might have an idea of what to expect when you're going to be visiting but the museum itself is way bigger um, the ticket well actually there were no tickets that day I visited several museums and they were absolutely free 
incredible. So, yes, museums uh, are free in Buenos Aires on the weekends. It's awesome. Um, there are two rules when you're visiting any museum in Buenos Aires. Rule number one, if you come in with a backpack, they would ask you to take off your backpack and carry it in your hands. If your backpack is too big, you might leave it in a locker room. And usually a locker room, uh, it's, you know, it's a pretty secure area and it's for free. So yeah, you can, you can leave it there. Nothing's gonna happen to your backpack. Um, and uh, rule number two, well, I think this rule comes out from the point of respect. Uh, you have to take off your hat. Yeah. Every time you're going to go inside the museum, they're going to ask you to take off your hat. That's just how it is. And I believe it's, uh, you know, it's just uh, a matter of respect to the culture, the matter of respect to the history, to the museum, stuff like that, which is totally understandable. But yeah, every single museum which I visited on a weekend was free. And it wasn't crowded at all, and it was worth it. I have to tell you, it was definitely worth it. Well, especially to me, because I do love art and I do love history. So, yeah, it was definitely worth it. Um, another thing which I have to mention, I didn't visit one museum which is quite popular in Buenos Aires. A museum of Modern Art. Yeah. I didn't have enough time to go there and check her out, but I heard it's a pretty interesting place. A lot of people are recommending to visit it, so if you're going to be in Buenos Aires, stop by, check it out as well. Um, I think it's a pretty cool place to visit. Also, for those people who do love wine, they do have they do have different wineries in uh, Argentina. Obviously, you you know about uh, Malbec wines, which comes from uh, Argentina and uh, you actually can have a tour to Mendoza County. It's a pretty far away place. I can tell you that it's gonna be a, a day or maybe even a few days trip, but you have an, uh, an option to go there and check it out. In Mendoza County, there are a lot of different wineries and they do have tours. Uh, well, you're going to have to find out all that information on your own because there are, there, are, there are a bunch of different companies actually who offered me that particular tour to Mendoza County. But since I didn't have enough time, I never went there. But if you're going to have a lot of time, you might want to go and check it out, um, you know, wineries in Argentina. I mean, hey, why not? Argentina is beautiful and has a lot of things to offer.
and gentlemen, what can I tell you? Buenos Aires is a very colorful and very interesting city. As you can see, it's a lot of things to do in here, a lot of places to visit. Um, I think at this very moment, this is going to be the end of my video because, hey, I have a very limited amount of time in this city. But I got to tell you one thing. Um, Buenos Aires is really interesting and I hope I'll be back here. I hope I'll be back to Argentina and uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video because hey uh, I tried to show you a lot of different places and a lot of different things so I hope you really enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to like this video guys it really helps to my channel as well thank you thank you for your time guys see you later bye bye Contigo y que la noche se haga día Hoy fue